Hello beautiful and welcome to this video. My name is Lizette Morais and today I have a channeled message from the Divine Feminine Lilith as well as Mother Dragon. This transmission happened on the 18th of January this year just before um, the tremendous move into Aquarius which has been quite dramatic. I'm not sure if you've noticed but there seems to be a much more open and clear understanding between the energetics, the divinity, the spiritual and the natural, the material plane. The dimensions are speaking to each other in greater harmony and a greater understanding is taking place. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Lizette Marais. I'm the creator of Arise and the founder of the Arise Academy. And since 2012, I've been supporting leaders to connect to their elevated consciousness, to their higher self and their crystalline clarity. This gift was shown to me through worship, through music, through my love and connection to the universe, to the source, to love, and then having the ability to open the field and serve as a bridge for others to experience this deep peace, this deep love, this deep light. And um, normally, since then, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with people. And indeed, in our sessions on retreats, etc., um, there would be many wonderful things that would happen when we open the universal field and dare to look at the light of truth, which is, of course, love. But finding strategies of peace and love is truly, for me, the work of the new leadership in this new age. And for the very first time, when I was sitting with a, with a dear soul sister of mine who had requested for me to come and sing, to open the field, to see what spirit had to say about her life, um, this was the very first time that Lilith came forward, but also with the presence of Mother Dragon. And I can't really explain it, except I've had Lilith come visit me many times, but when in the presence of Lilith, this energy of Mother Dragon, I had never experienced this level of intensity before. And I knew this message was different. What I'm so excited to share with you is that this message is different because I have watched it come into fruition within four days so the message and energy is very potent very powerful and I really believe that it is the new template given to come into freedom in this transmission we hear a call we also see the problem that we must solve we also are given a process that we can walk and there is a promise this promise of Eden, this promise of returning to the garden, this promise of home. So if you have been searching for freedom and you have been on this initiated path of, I know I am part of the solution. I know that my life is devoted to all that is good and true and, and um, pure and, and whole in this world and you have been looking for like-minded people, I want to encourage you to listen to these words and then to maybe join me in a five-day experience that I'm doing where we are going to take this transmission and actually uh, sit with it, embody it, reflect on it, share and speak to it. Um, and that five day is coming. I am choosing on purpose not to just share the transmission because I serve as a portal and this energy is not for everybody. This energy is for you if you are ready. And that's why I will not share it live and freely like this. It is yours if you choose. And you can choose that by joining our Facebook group and joining us on the 24th of February, 2024 to begin a five day experience where we go through this word and we truly hear it and we truly embody it and we truly can say yes to wholeness, to freedom and to the mother. Join us. So without further ado, here was the message. Holy ground, holy ground, holy, holy ground. Freedom, 
freedom to breathe, freedom to fly. My wings, Father, my wings. The wings are returning, so the kids, so the kids know no. The sons, the daughters can fly again. Do not be afraid of what you speak. For eons you have been sworn to silence. And now the mother calls. Now the mother calls you in freedom, in service for liberation, for their blindness. Open the veil, beloved. Open the veil and step into the pure activation and deliverance. Holy, holy, holy heart. No more, no more, no more, no more. This love, this power, this light is for you and for me. You don't have to pay to be here no more. Receive your birthright, sovereignty beloved, queendom, the true feminine in her glory, in her power, in her service, returns to be adored. The masculine, oh brother, there is going to be some renegotiations, my friend. There has to be some renegotiations here, beloved. Do not run from me. I love you. <laughs> but don't use me. Don't test me. Don't push me. Don't anger me. Enough, enough games. My power is to honor you, beloved. Just love me. Just hold me. Just see me. I am tired of these games. You play with my heart holiness. No more, no more, beloved. Unity, harmony, oneness returns. The power of the serpent unleashed. Holy ground, holy ground. We are holy ground. Sisters, women, side by side. Mother, daughter, side by side. Priestess and peasant, side by side. On holy ground, mother, may it be so. Unity with women, unity with men, unity for the sons and daughters of the Most High Living God. And then there was this activation, and this is the process I speak of, but I'll read the words because they're so powerful. Into the ground, deep, 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 seeds have been planted here. I step in, into the roots of the seed, the seed, thank you. Stepping into the roots of this place in service to Gaia, feel these roots, a network of light, roots of light going deep, laid by the ancestors, a network laid in the etheric by the ancestors. Feel these roots go down. The druids, the wizards, the witches, the magi. Roots of light go down into the earth, into the core, pulling up from the core, the true light of the earth, planetary consciousness up through the earth. The mother says, I hear you, my daughter. Tired of the fires, I have burned, I have burned, I have burned, I have burned. I am purified, for I have burned. I know, I know, says the mother, every step I have seen and every step I have carried you. Now I bring you the purest of living water, overflow, overflow, ease, life, abundance, mentally, emotionally, physically, energetically. Drink, 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 drink my love from the waters of life. I ended by saying thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Mary Magdalene, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, holy ground. And so it is, Abba, Mother and Father God. Wow, so that was the message. And as you can hear in this message, this deep, profound transmission, um, there is truly an, uh, a call. There is um, 
a problem here between man and woman, between the masculine and the feminine. This isn't about the gender. You may be in a masculine body, but you are, always have the feminine energy and the masculine energy. And I also have my masculine energy and my feminine energy. And this new balance of this is what is supporting us to transcend into our Christic self. So um, it really has been, I, I've looked it over and I've spent now a month with it. It came through, as I said, on the 18th of January. And what I've decided to do is to take five days and break this down with you. I've created a video for each part of this transmission. So on day one, starting on the 24th of February, we'll be looking at answering the call where she's saying, there is freedom to breathe. You don't have to pay to be here, but you have been taught, told and taught and programmed. And all of us have that we have to somehow survive. But many of us who have survived and survived are now ready to truly live in our purpose. So mother says, well, then you, we must work with the sacred team, this masculine and feminine. We'll be dealing with that on day three, on day two, sorry. On day three, we move into the sacred mission, which is to do this work, this activation, this unity consciousness, starting with ourselves, starting with being able to step into our wholeness you know our wholeness so completely our both light and dark our day and night our male and female and come into such presence that we can do the mission that you and i are here to to live and to activate and on day four, we have the beautiful promise of everyday Eden. Now this promise I saw five years ago when I was activated in the Mayan temples. And I saw it during my almost three years living in the jungle of Costa Rica with my, with my twin, um, my beloved, and then stepping into the separation of that union, coming into full inner union with myself and being called into Eden because the template, the garden, the genesis is here. Now we understand the times that life is going, but there is a collective that is positioned and prepared to be part of the solution moving forward. And if this feels like you, then I would love to invite you to this five day experience. And on the fifth day, we'll be looking at the essential ecosystem for everyday Eden, essentially the work that spirit has been guiding me to build and understand and prepare to serve as a guide, to serve as a way shower for us all of what do we actually need to take into account to have right standing with our divine nature and have actually the structures to bring down that light and to live this truth every day and serve as the leaders, the example, the safe spaces that we were born to be. I hope you enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this whole video and um, wishing you every blessing. And if you do want to join us, myself and the Arise Collective are so looking forward to seeing you there. Take care, beautiful. It's time to activate our essence.